The Minister of Education, Malam Adamu Adamu, has been applauded for his achievements in the sector, especially in efforts at ensuring all loopholes that allowed for diversion of funds in the agencies under the ministry were identified and efficiently blocked. A communique signed by the President of the National Youth Council of Nigeria on behalf of other organizations indicates that the finances which have been judiciously utilized is responsible for the significant milestone achievements in the education sector. Addressing the media in Abuja, NYCN President Solomon Adodo frowned at a desperate attempt to disperse the image of the Minister of Education and derail the spate of progress being recorded in the educational sector, which he notes is targeted at pointing the government of President Muhammad Buhari in a bad light. The National Youth Council of Nigeria and our partners have noted the desperate attempts to disparage the image of the Minister of Education and derail the speech of progress being recorded in the educational sector, all in a bid to paint the government of President Muhammad Buhari in a bad light. The recent libellous publication by 247U reporters and the misleading headlines by Sahara reporters alongside other yellow journalism platforms targeted at roping a scandal around the neck of Malam Adamu Adamu is one which all through patriots and stakeholders in the education sector must condemn totally. The youth group further unveiled detailed findings indicating Adamu's zeal for transparency and fiscal accountability. Our detailed findings show the following developments under Malam Adamu Adamu, which strongly affirm his knack for transparency and fiscal accountability. Number one, between 2016 and 2020, the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board remitted over 10 billion naira to the federal government coffers, contrary to the prior norm where these monies were diverted to private pockets. Two, the National Examination Council has also remitted monies run to several billions of naira into the federal government coffers. <laughs> Number three, as a result of the transparency measures which have conserved funds, the federal government subsequently reduced the UTME fees, NECO, and BSEE fees. They further advised mischief makers to steer their sheep of Vendetta Clare of Nigerian snow education sector, which is already on the paths of progress. CNN News.